All right, in this video, we are going to talk about solving triangles and giving an example of how to do that. Uh, so first off, what does it mean to solve a triangle? Well, it just means to find the measures of the missing angles and the lengths of the missing sides of the triangle, okay? Uh, so if you look down here in this triangle, some of the sides are labeled. In fact, well, just one really, this is seven. And then, um, some of the angles are labeled like we have a 90 degree here and a um, 35 degree angle here but we're missing this angle so we're missing an angle and two of the sides so what we want to do is to solve the triangle just means to find the lengths of the missing side and the measure of any of the missing angles all right so let's go ahead and work this problem so solve the triangle it says to round your answers to two decimal places Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is, um, or the easiest thing to do on, on this particular one is to find the um, the length or the missing angle here, B, okay? Um, so we know that the measures of the angles uh, add up to 180, right? So the measure of angle B, which I'll just write as B plus 35 degrees plus 180 oops plus 90 rather sorry all of those add up to equal 180 okay um, you can even short th shortcut things a little bit by saying that B and 35 ha have to add up to B um, 90 Okay, so uh, just solve this little equation now. Uh, 90 plus 35 is 125. And then subtract 125 from both sides. And we get that B is equal to, uh, let's see, it's at 55 degrees. So 180 minus 125 is 55. Okay. All right. So that's B, right? We still need to find um, lowercase b, little b, and c. Okay. All right. So how we're going to do that is using uh, some trigonometry, okay, and, and the trigonometric ratios. So first, let's go after b. So uh, looking here, um, I, I know uh, the angle B now, but I'm just going to focus on this angle, uh, 35 degrees here. Uh, you could use 55 if you want to. It doesn't matter which one you use, um, which acute angle. Um, so uh, looking at 35, though, right, I, I what I want to do is to find one of the trigonometric ratios that involve one of these known numbers, right, like 7 and one of the unknowns that I'm trying to find. In this case, I'm, I'm going after little b, okay? All right, and so looking at that for 35 degrees, right, this side over here, seven would be the opposite side, right? And b, little, little b would be the adjacent side. All right, so I have opposite and I have adjacent. So what I wanna do is find which one of the six trigonometric ratios involve uh, the opposite and the adjacent and the adjacent side there are two right tangent and cotangent um, so but uh, I'm gonna have to use the calculator right to do this so I'm gonna stick with sine cosine and tangent because those are the um, uh, on the calculator you know that's that's what I've got uh, the keys for those whereas tangent or cotangent cosine and secant I don't, all right? So I know that the tangent of 35 degrees is going to be the opposite side, right? Which is seven over the adjacent side. Okay? And so now what I need to do is to uh, solve this equation for little b, okay? So for these um, equations, they have fractions in them, but, uh, and you can uh, 
usually I would say multiply through by the LCD in order to get rid of the fractions first. But these are fairly simple because it's just, you know, this expression equals a fraction generally. And so uh, you can just kind of think about cross multiplying here, which in effect is the same, right, as multiplying through B by lowercase b. So when I do that, I get B times the tangent of 35 degrees. So here I'm just multiplying right here equals 7. All right. And now I want to divide, uh, get B by itself on both sides. I would divide both sides by the tangent of 35 degrees. And the tangent 35 degrees are going to cancel each other out. So I'm going to be left with B equals 7 divided by the tangent of 35 degrees. All right, so next up what I would do is go to the calculator and determine what uh, 7 divided by the tangent of 35 degrees is going to be. So let me pull up the calculator. Okay, so that would be, um, again, making sure that I'm in degree mode. All right, I'm in degree mode, so that's good. So I would do 7 divided by the tan of 35 degrees. All right, and so to two decimal places, B would be, um, so to two decimal places, right, uh, that would kick up uh, this digit right here is a seven, so that would bump this up to 10 point oh oh like so, okay? All right. All right, and so now that gives us B, and so the next one would be C here. Um, so uh, for C, right, looking at again at this 35 degrees, what I want to do is uh, to, uh, again, find a trigonometric ratio that involves this side over here, which is the opposite side, and then what I'm trying to find, right? So the side whose length I know seven and the side whose uh, length I'm trying to find in this case the hypotenuse so that's opposite and hypotenuse so what I need is a tr trig uh, ratio that uh, relates the opposite and the hypotenuse and so that's going to be the sine all right so the sine of 35 degrees would be equal to the opposite, which is 7, over the hypotenuse, which is C. Okay. And so again, to solve, now I just need to solve for C. So I could uh, write it as a fraction and then cross multiply. So I get C times sine of 35 degrees. So again, I'm just multiplying here, right through here. And then the other diagonal would be 1 times 7. And then divide both sides by the sine of 35 degrees. And so on the left side, right, the sine 35 degrees would cancel each other out, right, because it's the same number divided by itself. And then um, punch that into the calculator and round to two decimal places. So that would be 7 divided by sine 35 degrees. And again, I know I am in 
uh, degree mode, always want to be careful to check that out. So I get 12.20, right? So this is a four, so I would not round this up. So it's 12.20. And whatever the units are, I don't think they specified here. So I just leave it without units here. Uh, you may wonder uh, why wouldn't I use this uh, in the calculation down here? You can do that. Um, but the thing is that you round this off a little bit. So sometimes it will throw, if you round off too much, it will throw your answer off a little bit down here. So you have to be careful about that. So for that reason, I just prefer to use the uh, one that's given uh, in the calculation. To me, it's a little cleaner that way. So, all right. That is it on this one.